Welcome to the project uh, demonstration of virtual telepresence robots. So here uh, the main application of this project is by seeing the visuals from this VR box we can control the vehicle movements from the Bluetooth application as well as by seeing the visuals we can control this camera direction either, uh, either it is going to be the this side or this side or up and down. Total four motions of this respective camera will be controlled through this VR box mobile phone only. Means whenever we are tilting this towards the left or right side or down or upside, then the mobile phone will sending the gyroscope magnetic uh, accelerometer data through the Wi-Fi to this Raspberry Pi 3 B place. And from there we are going to decode the data on X, Y, Z and raw pitch here details and based on that the system will control these two servo motors in up down left right rotation of this particular camera and also we can control this robot movements through the bluetooth directly from the mobile phone only so for that we need to install some settings and applications in your mobile phone and from there we can control this mobile uh, like system so here we have interface the two dc motors for the vehicle motion uh, interface to this raspberry pi 3 b plus through this L293 d motor driver here we can see the four battery packs in that one two battery packs is supply for the uh, raspberry pi and uh, two battery packs is supply for the uh, dc motors along with the servo motors in order to provide separate power supply the meaning is like uh, in order to provide the uninterrupted uh, power supply to this system here and this one is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the servo motors and L293D. So this one is the LM2596. These two are the LM2596 voltage regulators which will take 7.4 volts from this battery pack and provide us the 5 volts DC output to the Raspberry Pi as well as to our uh, L293D and uh, servo motors. Uh, let us see the demonstration. Uh, before demonstration the first of our very first step is we need to install wireless IMU mobile phone application which will provide you and then Bluetooth terminal these two applications we will provide you al along with uh, this dual uh, quad multi browser so these three applications we will provide you that so from this application we can send in the uh, like accelerometer gyroscope magnetometer values and from this we can control the robot movement and from this we can see the visuals directly and after successful installation of these applications now go to mobile phone hotspot settings and on the hotspots with the name of project 6455 without any space without any capital letter password should be 123456789 and ap band should be 2.4 gigahertz after configuring this hotspot so check twice before on the hotspot without any space without any capital letter so after enabling the hotspots yeah, one more application we need to install is a network analyzer application. So using that application, we can access the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. So this is the application we need to install network analyzer. Totally four applications we need to install that. So this one is to get the IP address only. Okay. And then on the power supply to this Raspberry Pi, the switch of this Raspberry Pi only this one. Okay. So remember just on the power supply to this switch okay so wait till the camera light gets switched on so i'm successfully booting off operating system in the raspberry pi 3 play uh, 3 b plus the camera light will get switched on continuously initially just it will on and off as indication of it is initialized now the camera light is continuously on and we can see the one device is connected in your mobile phone right and do the scan here there you get the two ip address one is your mobile phone and there is our Raspberry Pi. Copy this. Now go to the quad band. This one. Okay. So it's a quad band application directly. In that, just copy and paste. Right. Yeah. Mm. Just copy and paste along with colon 8081. That's very important. So after that, you can enter this and we can see the two screens here directly okay and after this you can on the power supply to this one which will on the power supply for the robots as well as for the camera now we can see that so i'm swing down slowly control that sorry sorry yeah so after this one 
one more is there wireless IMU so here so in this one enter the same IP address here which we got from the network analyzer and target IP port is double five double five and set the medium okay and now on when you on that and select the run in background so this is very important one two three four settings then on that when you on that keep this in in this manner right okay now go to the screen here I am looking up so it will the delay is going to be around of 1 to 2 seconds only so turning as the left side right and right side slowly you can control that so it will take the directions towards the input of your mobile phone right okay so in order to make this uh, bluetooth uh, controlling from the same application same mobile phone just i'm switching off this as it won't take the input from this application the next step is go to just you can try this in another mobile phone go to bluetooth settings so just i'm showing from initial and words so search for a new device so that is hc05 you can see here so which is our uh, kitsch bluetooth uh, setting that is hc05 so right here you can see the hc05 initially so thus we need to pair from the settings so the application password is 1234 to pair to that hc05 after successfully pairing from this now go to the our application bluetooth thermal application and here we need to connect to the hc05 so successfully connected we can see the device is connected now so now it will come uh, comes with like btn1 btn2 like that now click on that right forward and command f you can deselect these two it will come like this deselect these two and save like that forward b uh, forward f backward b left l right r stop s so after configuring all these things now we can control the vehicle movement directly you can see on this okay so when you click on f the robot will moving forward stop backward stop so let us see that clearly right okay forward stop backward stop left side stop and right side okay so like this we can control the vehicle movement from the bluetooth application you can install this application in another mobile phone and coming to this uh, uh, we are controlling so let us see that clearly so we have kept this in virtual daily presence right okay so this is my front side like this okay so when i'm turning towards right side so after 2 to 3 seconds, uh, based on the network speed, it will work like this. Slowly provide the inputs to this server motor. So we control it faster than also, it will work. Okay. 